So people ask me all the time about the domain. What exactly is it? It is a live work play area in Northwest Austin. It's just east of Mopac. It's often referred to as Austin's second downtown. So it's home to a lot of offices, retailers, residential spaces, entertainment, and it's all within like 700,000 square feet. So we're gonna get into the specifics and we're gonna talk about the top five things that make the domain so special. So stick around until the end when I share number six, some personal recommendations. Hi, I'm Tiffany Moore. I'm a local realtor right here in Austin, Texas. If you're thinking about moving to Austin, I help people from all over the world buy and sell homes here. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, my contact info is below. Feel free to reach out to me. So first let's talk about the shopping. The domain has a hundred upscale and mainstream retail stores, restaurants, almost half of which are exclusive right within the market. So there are high-end boutiques such as Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Neiman Marcus. There's also a Tiffany's there. So while you're there, go and get your ring shined up. There are also a lot of more traditional retailers like H&M, American Eagle, um, Nike, Tommy Bahama. There's not just chains. There are a lot of local small boutique stores because the domain is trying to mimic Austin without you having to go downtown. So it's almost 18 acres of shopping and all the stores are like open air. So um, the experience feels very like trendy and fun. It's kind of like the newest trend that's going on for shopping. They're really not building shopping malls anymore. Honestly, I can't even tell you when the last time was that I was in a shopping mall. Um, it just feels very like 90s and that's not what's going on. Actually in Austin, they turned one of the malls in Austin proper into a community college. So places like the domain that are like outdoor shopping experience, live, work, play, those are popping up everywhere around Austin, but the domain is kind of like the quintessential example that all of the other ones are based off of. So there's basically nothing that you can't buy here and it's awesome for just like walking around, window shopping, killing time. Number two, the food. So the restaurants are favorites like True Food Kitchen, Gloria's Latin Cuisine, Plank Seafood Provisions, North Italia, and there's so many more. Um, I got a favorite place in the domain for whatever mood you're in. So we're going to start with a few of my favorites. Velvet Taco. This is technically a place out of Dallas. This place saved my life during COVID. The domain was pretty much completely shut down. The Apple store was all boarded up like the zombie apocalypse was coming. There were no cars parked anywhere or driving anywhere in the domain. It was a total ghost town. So my husband and I would meet up with a few friends at the domain because one, it was outdoors. That was the main reason. And two, no one was there. And Three, the Velvet Taco was like the only place that was open and they were doing takeout. So they were doing tacos and margaritas. So this is one of the best things to come out of COVID. During COVID, a lot of restaurants, um, we had like a temporary ordinance where restaurants were allowed to do to go cocktails and drinks and things like that. Um, and then it just continued. So the government just voted like, hey, we're going to keep this going. You know, like drunk driving hasn't gone up. Deaths haven't gone up. What's the harm? Just let people take their margaritas home. So that uh, that's kind of where we went during the domain. So, or I'm sorry, during COVID. So we would go get our tacos and our margaritas and we would walk to an area that had benches where we could all sit six feet apart, not be encroaching on each other, eat our tacos, drink our margaritas, and just not be home alone. So Velvet Taco has a really special place in my heart. Another place that I like a lot is Jack and Ginger's. This is a really great Irish sports pub. They've got the traditional like Guinness, bass, fish and chips, all the things. So we were actually at Jack and Ginger's a couple days before the domain shut down. It was right before St. Patty's Day and they were getting ready for like their big extravaganza. And like two days later, it was a ghost town. Another place I like is Culinary Dropouts. This is a really cool place to hang out and to bring people to. They've got good food, good cocktails. They have a really unique menu and they have a huge covered patio that's got games like cornhole, foosball. It's a great place to bring people who are here from out of town. And my favorite dessert spot is Jenny's Ice Cream. So their signature flavor is peanut butter chocolate chip. You have to get it in a waffle cone. They pretty much pump waffle cone fragrance out into the air outside the store. So you can't walk by without being sucked in by like this beautiful, sweet, doughy aroma. I'm a sucker for it every time. All right, the third thing at the domain is there's entertainment. So there are spas, there's Viva Day spas, so you can feel pretty and pampered. They have weekly events like movies in the park and art walks, so you can kind of unleash that inner child in a vintage video game like Kung Fu or get a little bit wild at this European style dance party that they have at the Rose Room. So if you've heard about Wonder Bar, Wonder Bar is kind of a spot where everything that you're doing there, you're doing it for the gram. So when you walk in, you can check out the unicorn carousel. Um, 
multicolored disco balls hanging from the ceiling and they have a special wheel wheel that you can spin and win like a special prize so i came here with dave and a few friends for like a sunday fun day and it was insane literally the entire bar is like insta worthy sets it's like a party in every corner my sunday fun days are usually like a low-key bar on the east side where i can have one or two cocktails talk to dave for a little bit then head home and like take a little nap Wonder Bar is not that kind of place. It is not for conversing. There will be no snoozing afterwards. It's like a club, but it's happening at like 1 p.m. while the sun is out. It's very strange. So there's a lot of nightlife in the domain. Um, it literally starts at like noon on Friday. Wonder Bar is super close to a place I like a lot called Bakery Lorraine. And I go there to work sometimes, but I have to remember to be out of there by noon on Fridays because all the bars start pumping like uns, uns music. And that's just when the party starts. So you've got Jack and Ginger's, which is the Irish sports bar, Wonder Bar, the Rose Room, the Rock Room District, or the Rock Rose District is pretty much like the sixth street of the domain. So the fourth thing that's really cool about the domain is the vibe. It's got a really great chill vibe. There's lots of green space to walk around in. There's open places for kids to play. They've got a dog park where we like to bring um, our little boxer LB to hang out there and just chill with friends. It's really good for people watching, hanging out with friends, just a, a nice place to go and hang out. There's lots of cool places to have a drink. They've got sports bars, rooftop bars, creative cocktails, and they have, it's it's pretty much like an all-in-one entertainment spot. Like there's something for everyone. If you want to do stuff outside, they've got it. If you like do not want to be outside because it's 99 degrees outside in Austin right now, there's a ton of stuff you can do inside, whether you're like shopping, going to a restaurant, um, going to a movies, and we're gonna talk about some other fun stuff there is to do. So another cool thing about the domain is it's family friendly. There are a ton of kids stores. There's also a lot of like interactive playscapes and shopping areas for kids to play. Punchbowl Social is a really cool spot. Um, it's a restaurant, bar, and like gaming extravaganza. You can play life-size board games. You can sing karaoke and bowl, and they even have like a mini golf course. So maybe if you're there with a group, bunch of different people, or you're there with kids, some people want to play games, some people want to hang out and eat, some people want to go to the movies. Um, the food and the cocktails are always on point. So the menu is one of the more underrated things about Punchbowl, so Punchbowl Social. Um, it's one of the best places to go in the domain. Dave and I go here just for food and drinks sometimes because it's kind of away from the hustle and bustle, but the food is really good and the cocktails are always on point. So like I said, there's also a movie theater there. So you can really go with like a bunch of different people and find something to do for everyone. Drop some folks off at the movies, go have, you know, a cocktail and some snacks and let some other people go out bowling and y'all could come back together in a couple hours and do your thing together. So number six, here are my personal recommendations for the domain. I didn't realize how much I went there until I started writing this video. So here are a few of my favorite spots. I've already kind of talked about a few of them. The first is Taco Flats. The tacos are great. They have to-go margs that they, they just can't be beat. Definitely check it out. Um, second, Salvation Pizza. They have humongous pizzas, cheap beer and drinks, lots of TVs. We'll go in, hang out at like a pool of the domain with some friends who live there, and then head to Salvation Pizza for dinner. Or if there's a fight night on or something, we usually hang out there afterwards. And after that, I'm going to go to Jenny's for ice cream. I always get the peanut butter chocolate chip, which is like their signature, and you have to put it in a waffle cone. For a girl's night, I really like Second Bar and Grill. This is an outpost from the same restaurant downtown. They have high-end cocktails and a delicious food menu. It's in a quiet setting. It's kind of away from the bar scene um, at the domain. So it's a nice spot to just kind of like get away and get out of the hustle and bustle, be a little bit chill and quiet, um, but also have a really good time. If you are looking for healthy food, Flower Child is like one of my go-tos. They've got grain bowls, salads, sandwiches. Everything that I've had is always awesome and you always leave feeling like really good. Um, Kava is like a Mediterranean Chipotle. I always get the spicy lamb meatballs. They're amazing. And probably my favorite place to go for food in the domain is Bakery Lorraine. Um, this is one of the places that's not a chain. So a lot of the other ones that I've mentioned are chains like Velvet Taco, Culinary Dropout, um, Cava. Like the, some of these are local chains, some are just to Texas. But Bakery Lorraine is like a one of a kind. The chef for Bakery Lorraine used to cook at the French Laundry in Napa. So if you know anything about that restaurant, very high end, very like severe attention to detail. Um, but classic French food done at like a very elevated level. So the quiche at Bakery Lorraine is to die for. Like, it is amazing. If you're a quiche person, and I think I have mentioned quiche at Bakery Lorraine before, 
um, you've got to check it out. The just the the crust is so flaky and delicious. The quiche is so smooth, and then they serve it with a little side salad that's like very refreshing with this really light vinaigrette. Just amazing. Um, they have so many pastries. The pastries and the macarons are amazing. So everything I've ever had there is on point. Plus they have a really nice natural wine selection, which is super cool. But here's the thing, like Bakery Link Lorraine closes at like 3 p.m. every day. I don't really understand why. Um, cause I'm not drinking wine there at like 11 AM. I could, I guess. I mean, I am, I am the boss, so I guess I could do that, but I typically don't. Um, so if you are going to go best to go on vacation or to go for like early morning brunch, whatever, around like 11 or 12, have some wine with your quiche or with your sandwich, whatever you end up getting. So that's a basic description of the domain. A lot of people ask me about it. If you're exploring the area, check out this other video that I've got about the pros and cons of living in Round Rock.